Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I am an architect and an English speaker. This time, we will be discussing some English lessons. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on social media found on the description. So let's get started. Our topic for today is about words used in place of nouns. Now, we come to study another class of words which are also very necessary in order to express our ideas. Suppose you had just arrived in a strange town and you wanted to find the way to a friend's house. You inquire of a stranger, can you tell me who lives in the house on the corner? Notice the words you and me. You could not call the stranger by name for you do not know his name. And hence, you say you. And if you use your own name instead of me, he would not recognize it. And you would both be puzzled to find a substitute for that little word who. If you knew the stranger and he knew your name, you might say, can Mr. Smith tell Mr. Jones what person lives in the house on the corner? But this would sound very stilted and unnatural and awkward. So we have these little words like you and me and who, which we use in place of nouns. And these words are called pronouns. This word is taken from the Latin also. In the Latin, the word pro means in place of. So the word pronoun literally in place of a noun. Again, pronouns came from the Latin word pro means in place of. So the word pronoun means literally again in place of a noun. Always take note that a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun. These words or pronouns are very useful little words. They save us a great deal of tiresome repetition. Let us examine and notice the awkwardness of the following sentence. The workers will succeed in gaining the workers' freedom if the workers learn solidarity. And yet, this would be the way we would have expressed this idea if we did not have pronouns. Instead, we say, The workers will succeed in gaining their freedom if they learn solidarity. We will study the pronoun in detail in later lessons, but we can readily recognize these words, which are used in place of nouns. The most common pronouns being used are the following. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, me, him, her, us them, my, your, his, her, its, our, their, that, which, who, whose, whom, and what. This time, we should conduct again another exercise. And you can download this exercise in PDF file for free. Okay, you will only access this exercise on my Facebook account. In order for you to view the exercise and download it for free, you should add me on your friends list. And as you can see, if you will download the exercise, you will underscore all the pronouns in the following given story that I will be sharing. Then, 
that is our topic for today. It's all about pronouns. All right, and that ends our lesson. I hope you like it. Please help us to make more contents and get updates by clicking the subscribe button and add me on your social media accounts. Thank you everyone!